Um, what did Ms. Baisley tell you about the timeline of events leading up to the ATV's death? She said Bavon got home from work around 10.30, picked up food, got home, they ate as a family. And would that have been 10.30 the night prior? Correct, 10.30 on September 5th. Yeah, 10.30 p.m. September 5th. Um, so they ate as a family, then she went into the bedroom with baby T. She watched three movies, Mario, Rio 1, and then halfway through Rio 2, and she fell asleep with, with baby T. While she was in the bedroom with baby T, LaVon slept on the couch with juvenile L, three-year-old. Um, she said that baby T was fine. She said baby T fell asleep around midnight before her, around four, between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. She woke up, she went to the bathroom, changed baby T's diaper, made a nine ounce bottle, then went to bed. Then LaVon was up the, a couple hours later, just prior to 8 a.m. And he, she did leave the room and briefly spoke with him prior to him leaving. And she returned back to the bedroom, laid back down next to baby T, slept next to him, and then was awoken around 10.40 a.m. by LaVon coming into the room to give baby T a kiss and then found baby T unresponsive, was yelling, and then Anthony Owens, who was with LaVon, uh, called 911. 